Today we are on the set of Fort Esme with Love and Squalor and we are interviewing the cast to examine how it's a reflection of the World War II time period. How did D-Day personally affect you? Well, when I heard about the Allied invasion in France at Juneau Beach, I became very hopeful for the end of the war. Um, although thousands had lost their lives and a lot of people around me were very sad, I noticed a different as atmosphere change and people's attitude changed because we all anticipated the end, end of the war a lot more and became very excited. How did the war continue to affect soldiers after it ended? Although I wasn't personally involved in the war and wasn't there on the um, battles, I noticed a lot of change within soldiers and I noticed that they failed to find the positive um, all the time and they failed to do everyday activities. And it seemed like they just wanted to be in the dark more than outside or in the light. One day I saw a soldier physically shield his eyes from the light of a naked light bulb. And I found that to be very odd because I think that really demonstrated how much they just wanted to be in the dark and away from everyone rather than near the light. Based on your experience, how does the war affect soldiers? Well, I think even during and after the war, the soldiers were both physically and mentally affected, but especially um, they were affected mentally because I noticed a lot more soldiers becoming a lot more isolated and like they could snap at any moment. Um, one point during the movie, I think we compared this to um, insecure luggage on a head rack. And I think that really um, explains well how the soldiers were feeling at the time because um, their brain was very insecure and unstable and at any point it could just um, explode and they could snap. How did winning the war in Europe, VE Day, have an impact on you? I was very excited when the Allied forces won the war in Europe. Even though I was excited and happy for the end of the war, I was still forever changed by the atrocities I saw during the war. For example, I saw tens of hundreds of my friends die on the battlefield, and this forever changed me both physically and mentally. Why is a sense of humor important in the war? Well, back before I started fighting in the war, I didn't really have a sense of humor and didn't think it was important at all. But now after experience warfare firsthand, I really realized the importance of having a good sense of humor as a coping mechanism because I didn't really have that. And as a result, I'm now very affected and traumatized by what I've seen in the war. How did your relationship with the war alter your perspective? The importance I put on the relationship of the war and myself really affected me because it changed almost, it drastically changed a lot of things in my life. For example, before the war, I was a very good writer and that was my whole career. But after the war, I struggled to even write a sentence. Also, I was in constant pain, not only because of physical wounds, but also because of how war drastically changes your mental state. And so with these, war really has a terrible relationship on myself. What is it like being in the ETO or the European Theater of Operations? Well, you see, it's very chaotic. I mean, it's stressful, it's intense. It's, it's hard on my body, hard on everybody's body. And see, there, there's beginners, obviously. And at one point I was a beginner, but I tried not to be associated with them at all. So I worked my hardest. I acted tougher on everybody. I did everything I possibly could to just be the best I could be. And after this decent amount of time being in it, I grew to like it and I actually kind of enjoy it now. How does it feel to be a face of the Hurtgen battle? Well, when they went up to me to ask for my photograph, I, I felt honored. I mean, the war itself, thousands of our men died, which is not good, obviously, but I mean, being the face of that felt very honored and very patriotic. And it even made me like feel more inclined to do my duty as a allied soldier and participate in winning the war. Before you started fighting in the war, what kind of things did you do in the Red Cross Recreational Room and how did it help you and others? Well, I never like personally actually walked in it. I just like walked by it and saw people like soldiers having like a good time. It, I feel like it really helped me like stay sane with all the stress of war. And like in the film, the repeated like, like usage of the recreation room really placed emphasis on the idea that they use this place to keep the soldiers sane.